shit. Now I'm aware. You know what? What's my next mission? It's um an Altair memory, right? That's probably the end of the sequence anyway. So let me go do that. I hope it's the end of the sequence. Yeah, let me go do that. And then I pray that's the end of the sequence. So then that way my Templar will automatically go back down. Before they launch another stupid guaranteed win on all my crap. Let me go do that. Only for me to get it back the next day. Okay, where am I going? In here. Time for an Altair memory. The third Windows 8 boot disk. What is he going to show me this time? Look. These pillars are all around me. I wonder if they vanish. Yeah, they do. Alright, so they just normally vanish for some reason. They're not part of the loading screen. Running around in circles. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I made him start dancing. Alright, here we go. 1228, a new regime. Altair at 63 years of age. Abba sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my god. Maria, when we left myself to yeah, Maria Thor. All our progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth and they will see their error. She's from and Bloodlines. Your son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. It caused a rift that has never fully healed. So Abbas has done nothing good. What the heck? He has the hook blade? Whoa! It's still dark! <laughs> Save me, database, please! Save me! Ugh. All right, Maria Thorpe. Since childhood, Maria had always dreamed of being a knight. A tomboy in her teens, she was often ridiculed by other children and punished by her parents for refusing to be a lady. Eventually, she left her native England for Jerusalem, and after many hardships and trials, gained a favor with a few prominent Templar crusaders. In time, she befriended the French Templar, Robert de Sable, earning his trust and serving as his decoy in times of war. When the assassin Altair killed Robert de Sable in 1192, Maria was pushed out of the order of the Templars by their new leader, Armand Bochart. This is uh, the plot of Bloodlines, um, Assassin's Creed Bloodlines for the PSP. It takes place right after Assassin's Creed 1. At this point, her hatred for Altair was limitless until he managed to show her true corruption, the true corruption of the Templars through patient and careful counsel. In time, after traveling, studying, and working council, Altair and Maria became close friends, then lovers. In 1193, Maria was as committed to Altair as he was to her. Having no good reason to return to her homeland, she chose to remain at Masayef and immerse herself in the life and the creed of the assassins. By the time Maria and Altair had their first child in 1195, they were inseparable, their only prolonged separation occurring in 1204 during Altair's failed attempt to establish a guild in Constantinople. 
In 1217, now approaching 60 years old, Maria joined her husband and their oldest son, Darama, a long journey east. After Altair determined the threat of the encroaching Mongols was too large to ignore. Absent from Masa'ef over 10 years, the couple grew closer still, their lives intertwined, their hearts aching for home. That's sweet. Speak reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have Whoa, he has two hidden blades? That's cool, so he eventually does get them. The other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I, I slept with a few of the assassins. <laughs> Look at this when you were not there. Asyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darin know his brother is dead? I sent him a message for days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge on the cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to hear the truth. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We and the good in this is? We may, but we walk together. Very well. She said it herself. Abbas is obviously going to betray us. Let them obviously. Speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was... <laughs> not likely, motherfucker. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself. Not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets. It He's accusing him of being like Al-Mualim. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Who <laughs> what? That wasn't part of the plan. I executed your son. I told him you ordered it yourself. He died believing you had betrayed him. Motherfucker. You want this apple? You take it, buddy. Oh, stop it. Stop it. And it stabbed Maria. And he stabs him. Don't tell me she's gonna die here. Maria. And she dies. Kill him. Wow. No. That's probably why they end up sealing all the apples away. Escape Masayev by any means. Wow. Well, the final penetration. Oh shit. What weapons do I have? Double hidden blades, no poison, no throwing knives, so just double hidden blades. Whoa! It's the ninja trio! They're like pushing each other over. Get out there. <laughs> Traditional Altair style. Escape to the village. Are they gonna close that gate? Nope. Home free. Well, we still have the apple. Well, it's unfortunate Maria had to die. Within five minutes of us meeting her again. Father, I got your message. What has happened? That him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. What knives? Throwing oh. knives? Darum and Seth. These are probably his sons. The sons of Altair ibn La Ala Ahad and Maria Thor, born in 1195 and 1197 respectively. Both were raised, as Altair was, at Masyaf. 
trained to be assassins by their father and diplomats and men of honor by their mother. But unlike Altair, who spent most of his early years separated from his father as part of Al Mualim's training, Darf Darum and Sef grew up in a house full of affection and love. Altair, though often stern, was a patient father too. A man determined to give his sons what Al Mualim had given him guidance and respect. Sef married quite young, and after his untimely death, his family moved to Alexandria at some point in the first half of the 13th century. It's unknown whether or not Darum had any offspring of his own, but we do we do know he eventually joined his, his brother's widow and children in Egypt. Throwing knives, 99! <laughs> Reduce distance to target. Press Y to counter assassinations with throwing knives. Oh, I hit that guy by accident. <laughs> I'll tell you to not kill civilians. Fuck, I hit a civilian. What? <laughs> he beat me to it. Traditional Altair style. Throwing knives. We must leave hidden blades. Oh shit. I guess we ain't going that way. Hurry. Or that way. Watch out. Goodbye. What is it? What the hell? Yo, he's he's like stuck on this guy. That's weird. Oh shit! What are we gonna do? Jump over? Me too. Make room down there, son. <laughs> Your old man's coming through. He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. Ooh! <laughs> that was a nice glitchy death. You will die. One day you will pay. Escape Masiaf village with your son, Darim. He got him. He can take care of himself. Stand your ground and defeat and defend your son. Shit. More guys. Look, they're coming out of the hay bales and everything. Oh shit. Uh, I can't throw my knife. There we go. I'm hitting freaking... What's his name? Darim. There we go. Oh, this guy isn't dead. There we go. It's time to finally get the fuck out of your father. I will have the apple out there. And I will have your head for all the dishonor you brought upon my family. You cannot run forever. Not from us. And not from your lies. Like how he says all that now after we've already escaped. Damn, how disappointing. Where does he even keep the apple? I remember Ezio like had a pouch at his waist. This guy has nothing. Maybe in that little pouch back there. Not nothing much. So, from all his memories so far, all we've seen is death and the apple messing everything up. Despite that, everyone still wants it. So, as I predicted, that's the end of sequence 5. Why am I back here? What the hell? Why am I here? I'm in the middle of nowhere. I sat down to write at the desk and I somehow wandered out here.